hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn how to create a qr code of any string or the link using and design components and react.js we will see how we can adjust the size of the qr code how to add an icon inside the qr code and adjust its size as well also we will see how we can change the color of the qr code add the loading state on the qr code set the qr code expired and user can refresh it to see how we can achieve this let's get started I have an empty react.js project that is using the latest version of and design 5.1 at the time of creating this video and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the qr code component from and design and start using it so it will be the qr code if you are wondering that what could be the in the class app so it's just uh, display flex and setting the content inside the whole window so it will be the qr code and to render any qr code we will be providing our value so suppose i want to see the value is code with amir so if i save it here you go it has created the qr code for this particular value so mostly you create the uh, qr code for the links so i can paste my youtube so it will be youtube.com slash code with amir and if i save it here you go it has generated the qr code for my youtube channel link and if you want to change the size of this qr code we can do that as well that will be under the size and here we can adjust the size by default it's 128 pixels if you want to change it maybe 200 it will increase its size and if you want to decrease it to some extent we can decrease it like this way right so let's make it maybe 150 okay and also we can add a logo or the icon uh, in the center of this qr code so that will be under the prop icon and here we can provide the link of our icon so i have pasted it here you go it has added the logo and i can adjust the size of this logo as well so it will be under the icon size so if i say it's only 20 pixels it will reduce it and if i say it's around the 50 pixels it, it will increase its size right so maybe we can say it's around 40 pixels looks good right and try to scan this code on your mobiles and see if my youtube channel appears on your mobile and if it does appear please hit the subscribe button and then uh, we can customize the color of uh, this qr code as well to match our theme so maybe our theme is something we can say uh, reddish so we can say the color of this qr code should be red here you go and we can change it to something else maybe blue right so here here you can provide the color uh, and it will change it to that and on and on our side there is a border if you want to remove that border we can do that as well that will be the border and uh, set its value to false it will remove that here you go and if i set it to true it will then just reappear right and if for some reason you are fetching this value from your uh, server or something or you can show a loading while you are fetching it so we can set the status of the the qr code to the value like active it is right now and if i say it's loading so it will show a loading and once we got the value we can set that value here and we can uh, change this status to active and it will show that right and also uh, if suppose for some reason our qr code is expired we can set that here we can say it's now expired and we can give the user an option to refresh the qr code so we can say on refresh and here uh, it will be called when user will click on the refresh button uh, that will appear here and here we can uh, do our logic so whatever you want to do for ref uh, getting this value again from the server or something and we can show loading while uh, we are fetching this, that value and then we can say it's an active state right so if i save it here you go so qr code is expired and on refresh over this function will be called we can just console it maybe we can say console.log on refresh save it and if i go to the console and if i click on that it says on refresh right and let me change it to active again there you go 
so this is how we can create a qr code of any value any string or any link and we can adjust their size we can add our icon inside that and and we can adjust icon size as well and then we can customize the color of the qr code make it bordered or borderless and then we can set its status to active expired or loading and if its status is expired we can give a user an option to refresh the qr code so that's it on exploring the qr code from and design but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you